Hey guys, I'm Jesse from the YouTube channel Jesse the Reader, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Epic Adaptations, the series here on Epic Reads, where I wrap up all your recent YA book to movie, book to TV adaptation news. To start us off, we got our first look at the upcoming film Love Simon. We got a teaser on October 31st, which is only 27 seconds long, but that 27 seconds is golden, my friends. The teaser features various characters dressed up in Halloween costumes, attending a Halloween party, and it's just great. It might might not be that much, but it's something. It's a little something to hold us over until we get the next teaser, which hopefully is coming soon. Along with this 27 second teaser that we got, we got some exclusive photos thanks to Entertainment Weekly. They featured five new stills from the film, which again is not much, but hopefully it's enough to hold us over until we get a trailer or something. An official trailer that's not just 27 seconds long. Give us more! For some reason I can just imagine you guys at your computers right now chanting, we want more! We want more! more. Give us more, Simon! We also got the first image from the upcoming book-to-movie adaptation based off of the book by Patrick Ness, which is the first book in the Chaos Walking trilogy, The Knife of Never Letting Go. The picture features Daisy Ridley and Tom Holland, both looking a little rough. Both looking like they've been on an adventure. I feel like we should start chanting again that we want more. Please give us more pictures from the set, pretty pretty please. Next up, we got a title reveal, an exclusive first look at the Fantastic Beast sequel, and it will not in fact be called the the Fantastic Beast sequel, thankfully. The film will be titled The Crimes of Grindelwald, which is a much better title than Fantastic Beast number two. I'm not gonna lie though, when I first read this title, I read it as The Grimes of Grindelwald instead of Crimes. I'm not sure why my brain did that, but it did. Anyways, not only did we get the title of the upcoming film, but we also got a look at the cast. That's a pretty legit cast picture if you ask me. It was announced that Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart has been picked up to be turned into a movie, which is something that I am really excited about. Though I will be honest that I would really like for them to make We Were Liars into a film. I know that the rights were picked up for that book a long time ago, but that movie still hasn't happened and I'm still holding out hope that they'll make that movie because I need it in my life. But I am equally as excited to see Genuine Fraud be adapted into a movie, especially because as reading this book, I could picture it as a movie. And the last bit of book to movie adaptation news that I have to share with you guys today is the fact that the book to movie adaptation for Wonder has been released. The film hit theaters on November 17th and the story follows a boy named August who has facial differences and we follow him as he enters into the fifth grade into the public school system for the first time. This is probably going to be one of those movies where you're gonna want to have tissues while you're watching the movie so I suggest picking some up before going and seeing this in theaters. That's all the YA book to movie and book to TV adaptation news that I have for you guys today. I'm hoping that soon we'll be getting more information from the Darkest Minds movie like maybe a trailer that would be awesome. Even some more tidbits from the Love Simon movie, more pictures from the Chaos Walking trilogy set, pretty please. You guys should let me know down below in the comments what you thought of today's news. How did you feel about the Love Simon teaser? Are you excited for the crimes of Grindelwald? Have you seen Wonder yet? Did it make you cry? Let me know all your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time with another epic adaptations.